Greetings, I am Mike Grontman. This video clip demonstrates communications link for a low Earth orbit satellite through a relay Molnaya satellite. More video clips illustrating other effects of interest to space mission design and to spacecraft design can be found at the website astronauticsnow.com. The simulations are performed using AGI's STK. This video clip demonstrates communications link provided by a relay 12-hour Molnaya satellite. The red vector facing you is the vernal equinox vector. The sun is on the left illuminating the Earth. The yellow band on the surface is the equator. Consider a low Earth orbit satellite in a circular sun-synchronous orbit with altitude 500 km and inclination 97.4 degrees. The satellite carries a payload for remote sensing observation of the areas with high geographical latitudes, the polar regions in the northern hemisphere. It is also required to transmit obtained images in real time to a ground station in Washington, D.C. Geostationary satellites in near-equatorial orbits are unsuitable for communications relay because of the unfavorable geometry for communicating with the polar regions of the Earth. Therefore, a different relay satellite is needed to provide a communications link to the ground station. A satellite in a Molnaya orbit will provide the desired communications relay. The line connecting orbit perigee and apogee is known as the line of apsides. The line of apsides usually rotates in the orbital plane. The rate of rotation of the line of apsides depends on the orbit's MMAJ axis, eccentricity and inclination. Inclination of the Molnaya orbit is 63.4 degrees and for this particular inclination the rotation of Apsides is zero. In other words, positions of orbit apogee and perigee stay where they are in the orbital plane. In our example, the relay satellite is deployed in an elliptical Molnaya orbit with a period of 12 hours perigee altitude 500 km and apogee altitude 39,850 km. The orbit apogee is over the northern hemisphere and it will stay there because of the zero rotation of the line of Apsides. When the satellite slowly moves near apogee it would provide excellent communications coverage for the northern polar areas of the globe. Note that geostationary satellites in near-equatorial orbits are unsuitable for communications with the polar regions. While Molnaya satellites do not appear stationary in the sky for an observer on the ground, their apparent motion near apogee is rather slow. You can see that the relay satellite in the Molnaya orbit provides periodic communications link between the satellite in a sun-synchronous orbit and the ground station. One Molnaya satellite would provide the link only for part of the day to achieve uninterrupted communication link between the remote sensing satellite over the polar regions and the ground station. One needs two or three Molnaya satellites with orbits distributed in longitude. More video clips illustrating other effects of interest to space mission design and to spacecraft design can be found at the website astronauticsnow.com. Thank you for watching. I am Mike Grontman.